It's prime time to upgrade prime time. Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DNA Design DK37 Upgrade Kit for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. Uh, so here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front. We have a nice image there of Prime DK37 Legacy Laser OP Upgrade Kits on this side, DK37 on this side, DK37. DK37 up top, DK37 on the bottom, words, things, barcodes on the back of the box, obligatory product shots, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the upgrade kit for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And as you can see, we get a good amount of stuff here with this kit. Various odds and ends and bits and pieces and bits and bobs. We get a pair of new blasters here, which look quite good. We get some... Uh, some missile launchers here. We get some armatures. We get some more missiles because, hey, more missiles, why not? We get a pair of new hands. I actually can open and close. And the index finger is its own separate piece. And the other three fingers are just a single piece. So we get some new posable hands. Some more little armatures for holding stuff. Some fillers for his legs. And, uh, yeah. So let's bring in the big OP and show off how all of this works. So here we have Mr. Primetime, and uh, first thing we're going to do is just add all the new bits to him. So the first thing we're going to do is plug on the new hands. So you just open up the forearm here. The hand is just on a ball joint, so you just pop it out. And you take the new hand and just pop it right in. Close it up. Second verse. Guess what? Just like the first. You know how it works. You know. You you know. So just pop that hand out. These are a little, little bit, little bit, little bit. Ah! I actually had to do an edit to pop that out. That was that one was fighting me. That one was fighting me. But anyway, take a new hand and pop this one in. Come on, there we go. Snaps right in, and there we go. He's got some new. Posable hands that can open and close. You can, you can, you can point. You can do a crooked point. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. And next up, we are at the legular region. So we have some uh, some filler pieces here. So these are just going to plug in. There's just one post that's going to plug into this top port right here. So just plug that in. Line it up. And plug it in, plug it in. Like that. And then you have... This piece right here, you want it angled that way. And that will just plug in right there, like so. Just push that in, and that fills out his legs quite nicely. And we'll just do the other one here, like that. And if the pieces do feel a little loose, hey, a little dab of uh, glue, we'll fix that right up. But it feels pretty snug. There you go. Now we have his legs all filled in. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And of course, with his new hands, he can hold his new blasters and he can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang, and droop, droop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Pew, pew, bang, bang. That's what you're doing. Pew, pewing and bang, banging. None of that droop, drooping. No. No. Now, there's a good amount of things we can do with all this other stuff. Uh, one being we can use this armature right here for his little sword axe shield thing weird combo. Um, you can take the smaller post here, plug it into that, and then just bend this up like that. And you can plug this now into his back. So now you can have that going on. You can have that stored on his back if you wish, and I think that's pretty cool. That makes for some storage, and as always, storage is good. But now we can also make better use of the trailer here. So one thing we can do is open all this up and remove the central section here, put the rest off to the side for now. And then we just fold this up, bring this all the way up like that. Hold this back. We're going to remove these guns and put this off to the side. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take this and we're going to plug this into his back. 
at an angle. So it's sitting like that. And then we're going to take one of these missile launcher deals and that will plug in right there. We're then going to take one of the new blasters and this post right here will go into the support right there. So just line that up and plug it in, plug it in like so. Now this part in the instructions confuses me and I'll show you what I mean. Maybe you can make more sense of it than I can. I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb. But um, you put this into his hand like so. Come on, come on. Come on, Pram, work with me, Pram. But Pram. There we go. See, <laughs> you just have to give him a butt prime, and that, that totally works. Ah! And also, one thing to note, also, these guns will hold in very well because it's a very shallow peg, and there's not a whole lot of meat for this to hold on to, so you can't kind of knock these off. Now, um, what I'm talking about, as far as the part that's confusing me, is I don't know if this is actually supposed to peg in anywhere, because there's no port for it to go into. So I'm not entirely sure what's supposed to happen, and the instructions, I'll show you, just... Kind of have these arrows going, just did, what am I, well, am I wiggling it? I don't know what that means. Like, what am I doing? Am I just like, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, Cause there's, it doesn't seem like there's any place to plug it in. So maybe it's just like, just make it look like it's going somewhere. I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, like I said, maybe you guys know better than I do. But then you take the other blaster and it will plug into the other side the same way the one up top did. And, again, these don't hold in super well because, again, there's not a lot of meat for these ports to hold on to. But you got to have this kind of deal going on with just a big, you know, side slung. <laughs> this just falls off. <laughs> this have like a big side slung weapon here. Hey, a thing you can do if you want to do it. Again, you know, this, 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 this connection is... is, is a fragile one at best. Just don't touch it. Just don't touch it. There you go. Yay! 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 And another thing we can do here is we can bring in this assembly minus the guns on the side and just plug it into his back and just have that big old missile launcher up over his head like that. And here is where we're going to make use of the rest of the trailer. Well, not all of it, but most of it. So we're going to take these side sections here and we're going to just pop them off and just on friction hinges. You can pop these off like so, put that off to the side. We're not going to need that. And what you're going to do here is you're going to take this section right here. It will plug in to this port right here. So just take that and plug it in. You want to make sure that this big slot here is facing up. That is the proper orientation for it. And once we've done that, we're going to just turn it around. We're going to bring in one of these and this will now clip in to this just line it up clip it in and just bring that down like that and we're going to do the same thing to the other side and once that's done what we're going to do here is we have a tab right here which will go into this slot right here and this section right here will go over the smokestack so you just line that up and just push that in like so and then you can angle this forward and you have these little armatures in his hand you can plug this into either of these three ports you can pretty much do what you want so you gotta have things angled how you wish so just plug that in there and we'll do the same thing on the other side just take that just plug it in line it all up and have that in like that bring that forward Again, just take that armature just plug it in wherever you want we're not going to go too crazy with the posing here we're just going to kind of get the gist of it you're then going to take this section here you're going to open this up you're going to flip up this panel and then fold this in so you got that going on and then you want to bring in these blasters here and there is a tab underneath the section which will go into this slot right there so just tab that in like so make sure everything stays in place and we'll do the same thing on the other side let's take that and tab that in and there you go you got this big thing going on with missiles and guns and all that good stuff
And you can angle all this stuff around so you can make it look better. This is just what I'm doing right now. But that's cool. That's really cool. I dig that. And now we can beef up our battle station mode because it really wasn't much of one originally. Um, but you want it in this configuration. This is how you want this section working out. So now that we have it like this, what we're going to do is we're going to take these sections here, just bring them up a little bit and rotate them forward like that. So you got that going on. Get, make sure these stay together like that. You're going to take these and these are going to plug in right next to them, right in this port right here. So you just plug that in and plug it in, plug it in like so. And next we're going to bring in uh, these armatures and you want them oriented like this, basically mirroring each other. And this is going to clip over this section right here. So you just take it and just clip it down. And that's how you want that looking right there. Do that on both sides. Plug that in like so. Then you bring in the blasters. They will plug into the last remaining port right here like that and then you bring these little armatures in here and they will plug in to these two ports back here you want to use these smaller posts so that will plug in there you can bring that up plug that in like so just angle that up how you want and there you have the new battle station mode and that looks really cool and we can bring in prime you can man is battle station and I dig that I really really dig that big improvement there big improvement so that's pretty much it for the robot mode stuff so now let's get him into alt mode and show off how all of this stores okay so what you want to do to get everything stored for the vehicle mode is you're going to take this section here just open this up flip this panel in and just bring all this down until that snaps into place like that and you're going to bring in this armature right here you want it in this configuration and this is going to plug into this port right here just take that and just plug it in make sure it goes down as far as it can go so it is sitting like that you're going to take this armature here and you basically want it to clip onto this section right here so it's just going to clip on and then you just rotate it in make sure that's pushed all the way down and that's going to be sitting like that um, at this point you can take this little axe deal you can fold this up and this will store right where it was before like so and that's how you have all of those bits stored and you can take this just plug it back where it was close the trailer back up thusly and thusly just make sure everything's cleared up there close it up tab it in fold that in and there you have the trailer all set we bring in Prime, and you want to take the sword, and there are two tabs on the sword, which will go into these two slots right under here. So you just take that and drop that right down. Oops, hey, hey, hey. There you go, just drop that right down so it sits in there just like that. And once that is completed, we can bring in said trailer, plug it onto said Prime. And some extra little bits we have here to deal with. We have these little missile launchers. They will plug in to the back like so. And like so. Then we can take these blasters here. You can plug them into the sides. You can have them facing up, facing back, facing forward. Whatever you want to do. As always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. You can plug those onto either side. Like that. And there you have everything stored in alt mode. It makes the trailer a lot more, you know, dangerous with, you know, the big guns and the missiles just sticking out the back. But you know what? Hey, why not? Dare I say, why not? So, there you go. 
So there you have the upgrade kit for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime. And um, yeah, nicely done kit in my opinion. It gives you some upgrades for Prime himself. Um, gives you a lot more to do with the trailer, which I really appreciate. Just gives the figure overall a lot more playability, and that is nothing but a good thing as far as I'm concerned. So overall, in my opinion, a solid kit here. Very solid kit. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any of DNA Design's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the DNA Design DK37 upgrade kit for Legacy Laser Optimus Prime, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face.